So today guys we're going to be working on a SanDisk flash drive, USB flash drive. Um, super common problem that happens. Customers uh, put, plug these into the computer and they break off the head of the USB so it's no longer, the data on the drive is no longer accessible unless it can be fixed by professionals like us. So a uh, pretty quick repair that we've got here. Super easy to mess up and very sensitive obviously because the customer really needs their data so we got to do it right. Um, but without further ado, let me show you how this repair is done. So first thing we're going to do is take this uh, shell covering. Inside of here there is actually a PCB that's got the NAND chip or where all of the data is for the customer um, and that's what we have to reconnect to this in order to be able to read the data off the drive again. So we're just going to pop this open. Sometimes they can be booger bears. I'm just going to separate it like that. You can see here is that PCB like I was talking about, printed circuit board. So we can essentially just take this out of this little um, dock that's holding this in so it can slide back and forth like so into your computer. So I'm just going to take that out like so. And now that I've got the board and the head of the USB, I'm going to put these underneath the camera so that you guys can see what we're working with. So here we go. Um, as you can see, this is the head of the flash drive. Uh, and we just have to reconnect it right here. Uh, obviously, you can see how it broke off. I mean, wow. It's, uh, normally, um, yeah, this is, this is pretty crazy. You can see that the actual pads, some of the pads were ripped. Uh, they're still attached here. But that's okay. We can still work with it. So what we're going to do is essentially just add some flux. On this one, we won't have to lay any jumpers, luckily. We should be able to just reconnect it. So we're going to add some flux, like so. And then we're going to add some solder. So I really like working with these hot tweezers. They're very versatile. Um, in this process, again, it might look easy, but it takes lots of practice to do this right without causing extra damage. Um, I never recommend data recovery for somebody who um, is not an experienced micro solder, micro soldering technician. Just because, yes, you can try it on your own, but if you make one mistake, all of your data is lost. And if you're like most people that come into our shop or mail their flash drives to us for recovery, it's really not worth attempting. Just pay somebody to do a good job and get it right, get your data back right the first time because any damage you cause can make this process not only more expensive but more difficult and in some cases can even result in permanent data loss. So we're just essentially trying to get this pin reconnected here by adding solder. Now I could technically clean off these pads and um, do a lot more work if I was trying to permanently fix this device but I'm not worried about that right now because all we need is the data so I just need these pins to have a good solid connection that's all we were worried about which it looks like they do now that's simple I make it look too easy huh so again this is not the way we would normally solder if we were doing a charging port or that sort of thing. Uh, again, all I care about is getting the data off this drive for the customer, and in which case, uh, it looks like we're good. We've got some good solid connections, and we can use our tweezers and make sure they're not moving around. So solid, solid, solid. So now we can take this and actually flip this around. So now you guys can see I'm about to take the original flash drive, as you can see here, and I am going to plug it in now that the head is replaced to our computer system, and voila, all of the customer's files are here. So the next thing we're going to do is actually copy this over to a new flash drive. Uh, for obvious security reasons, I just hid uh, this customer's files for privacy reasons. 
But if you're looking for your data to be recovered, if you've got a flash drive that's just not working, not reading, or broken, very similar to the way you've seen in this video, we can probably get the data back off of it a lot more affordable than most data recovery companies. If your flash drive is damaged, broken, has missing components, or won't read when you plug it into the computer, our team of data recovery specialists can and will recover your data. At XI Repair, we have successfully repaired and recovered over 25,000 electronic devices. Our professional data recovery services include free diagnostics and free shipping to us. So how can I get my flash drive repaired and data recovered? It's easy. Just go to our website, xirepair.com, click on data recovery, select the type of device that you have. In this case, if it's a flash drive, like you've seen in this video, simply select flash drive. From here, you're going to click Start Repair and fill out the information associated with your drive. The information you provide our team will help ensure that our technicians know what happened to your flash drive, what issues is your flash driving having, and most importantly, what data needs to be recovered from your flash drive. Once done, click Submit. Once you answer the intake questionnaire, you will input your information into the Customer Information section. This will allow our team to follow up with you during the repair process. Insert your first name, last name, email address, and the best contact phone number for you. Click Submit, and now insert your zip code. This section shows you the nearest XI Repair location and gives you the ability to mail in your device to our service center in Montgomery, Alabama. In order to get a free shipping label, simply select Mail and Repair, then select the store. Please note that we only have one service location for Mail and Repairs. Now click Get a Free Label. In order to generate the free shipping label, input the shipping address that you will be shipping from, such as your home or office address. Lastly, click Book Repair, which will be at the right, bottom right hand side of the screen. The page will reload and you will see a Print Shipping Label button. Click Print Shipping Label and a new tab should open with a shipping label for you to print. Simply press Ctrl plus P on your keyboard to print directly from your computer. You can print this label from any home or office printer. Don't worry about the size, as long as UPS can scan it, it will ship. Now that you have a prepaid UPS shipping label, simply pack your device or flash drive safely into a small package or box and drop it off at your nearest UPS store or drop-off location. And that's it! XI Repair will contact you with information regarding your repair once we receive your shipment and determine what needs to be completed on it. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us at sales at xirepair.com. That's sales, S-A-L-E-S, -E at xirepair.com. Or you can contact us during our operating hours, Monday through Friday, as well as on Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. at 334-777-1234. Have a wonderful day, and we look forward to servicing your device.